Here we have a 2020 BMW 840XI. This one's a Grand Coupe. It comes in mineral white metallic on black extended merino leather. And the powertrain consists of a three liter turbocharged inline six engine, made it to an eight speed automatic transmission. There's that beautiful front end there, your LED daytime running lights and headlamps. And then over here you have your 19 inch M Sport aluminum wheels. And over here you have the controls for your memory seating, power door locks, power windows, mirrors, as well as power folding mirrors. And there are your headlamp controls. You have a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And there you have your controls for your power seat along with power lumbar support. There's your rear seat there. And we're gonna go in here, and you do have dual zone automatic climate controls for the rear as well. And then you also have your heated rear seats. And then you have vents here, two USB-C charging ports. And there are your cup holders and your storage in the center seat. And I really like how they did that. Nice and sleek and kind of hidden as well. And there's your rear in there with your dual exhaust. And there's your trunk space. It's a pretty good size. You can fold the seats flat by pulling on this right here. And there's your power passenger seat with power lumbar support. Now we're gonna check out the engine bay. And there's that three liter twin turbocharged inline six. Hop in here. So there's your heated leather wrap steering wheel. And you can just turn that function on by hitting this button in the middle. And then over here you have your cruise controls. And over here you have your radio and your Bluetooth controls here. And then you can also See that on the heads up display. So I like how they did that whenever you're scrolling through your stations. But over here to the infotainment system, there's your home page there. And there's your navigation screen. You have 
AM, FM, XM radio. And you also have Spotify and Bluetooth audio. And then one of my favorite features is the car app, I guess you could call it. You can check out the driving information, all of that. And then one of my favorite things is the experience mode. So depending on how you're wanting to experience the vehicle, I guess, you can turn on your ambient lighting, the temperature control, seat ventilation, all of that in executive mode. Then in expressive, you just have the sun protection and ambient lighting. And then well-being, you have the heated seats on. So I think that's pretty neat. And you also have your other installed apps you can put on there as well as through the BMW store. And then here you have your dual zone automatic climate controls. And then you have a little screen here to display the temperature there. And then you can also, if you don't want to use a screen, you can heat and ventilate your seats here. And then that actually pulls up the screen and you can turn that off and turn this on and then it adjusts right there. So pretty neat. And there's your backup camera. Really good resolution there for the backup camera. And in here you have see if I can zoom in a wireless charging pad there it's kind of hard to see because it's hidden but that's a good thing and then you have two cup holders here and then you have this really sleek looking shifter you press this button and then you can put in the drive push up for neutral and then push all the way up for reverse and then in drive you can just slide it over and put it in the manual shift mode and you can shift like this or you can use the paddle shifters right here. And then you have your park button right here. And here you have your different modes for what you can choose from for your driving. So you have sport, comfort, eco pro, adaptive. And then it actually pulls up on the screen. So for example, in eco pro, you can have either the standard one or you can make your own kind of setting for that. And then you can do the same with sport as well. And then after you hit sport, you can do just regular sport or sport plus. So I like how they did that. And then of course you have your brake hold here, which you can toggle that on and off. And then your electronic parking brake, which you pull up to engage and then push down to disengage. Then you have a nice cubby in here, pretty nice size and goes all the way to the rear seat so you can fit longer objects in here. And then you have a USB-C charging port there as well. And then up here, you have a dual sunroof. So I like that. And there's a view of the rear seat there. And there's your glove compartment with your owner's manual. And another look at that gauge cluster there, which is all digital. And there is your push button start. And there's your key fob.